Hey, White, let me ask you a quick question, man. What's up? You can answer this. It's not a political opinion or nothing like that. It's part of your job. Okay. I ask every cop that I encounter this okay. one question. Sure. Can you state the five points of the First Amendment? You know what? I don't want to talk about that with you. <sighs> to be honest. So. Oh, man, dude. Yeah. If I turn off the camera, will you state it? No, I'm not going to talk with you about that, to be honest with you. Ah, oh, come on. It's Appreciate part of your job. It. You don't want to talk about your job? No, I don't. You know what I think? I think that many cops don't know it. And I'll tell you what I found. You will not find one video on the internet of a cop getting sworn in uh -huh. that he knows the oath that he's swearing to. He's repeating something that somebody else is reading to them. That means the person reading it doesn't know it either. They're just reading it. Hopefully before I'm dead and gone, we'll get that changed, bro. I want cops to really honor their job, you know what I mean? And feel it. If, if one of the people came up to you guys and asked you a question and you didn't know the answer to it, but by all rights, it was a question that you should know the answer to, would you guys make a good faith effort to find out what the answer to that question was? I want to try to get you the right answer as best I can. Right. I'm not going to give you a bad answer. Right. Do um, you mind if I ask you that question? Which question? <laughs> okay. Uh, there's five elements in the First Amendment. Do you guys know those five elements? I, 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 yeah, I don't want to give you any bad information. Do you guys, as constitutional officers, do you guys think that's a problem? So why would it be a problem? That you don't know the First Amendment? Or the five elements of the First Amendment? Yes, that's one of them. Yes, sir. But there's four more elements, right? Do you know those four elements? I don't, I don't know verbatim. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, so do you guys think that's a problem? That constitutional officers... Well, I was here being genuine. You know, so I mean... I think it's a problem. If you gave me food for thought, then I'll research to make sure. I, I appreciate that. What, what was your name, sir? Deputy Grunder. Grunder? Yeah. Do you have a identification number? Yeah, my ID is 2416. 2416. And you, uh, sir? Deputy Curry, 7933. 7933. You guys have a great day. You too. What's up guys, uh, really quick I want to say that when I first started my channel I didn't know exactly what I was doing. I just kind of knew that something needed to be done. I needed to get out there and record and ask questions and you know little by little I started learning things along the way. I started uncovering patterns and started asking cops questions and just you know try to have a conversation with cops and see what I can learn from them and, and along the way I uncovered a pattern of them not knowing the first amendment of the constitution. I kept asking them if they knew the First Amendment, and uh, many of them didn't. And, you know, because of that, we were able to uncover these patterns and, and find out that they're not being trained properly. Today, I was sent a video by Rights Crispy, and he told me that I was getting a shout out uh, by Cameras Everywhere, and this is a public service. And I just want to say thank you to both of them, um, not for, just for the shout out, but for all the tremendous uh, work that they've done along the way. This is a public service is actually one of my favorite channels. He just presents himself and he conducts his audits and he's just one of the more professional channels out there. I think this guy is great and he's just amazing in, in the work that he does. So I'll drop both of their channel links uh, in the description and the pinned comment along with this uh, interview. Definitely go say hello to these guys. Thank you guys so much for all the support. I never expected 100 subscribers. I never expected anything. And uh, we're over half a million subs now on my channel. And it's just mind blowing. I don't believe that I'm the smartest guy or the, the I'm, I don't believe I'm well spoken either. You know, I get tongue twisted a lot and I just knew that something needed to be done. And uh, I just kind of joined this, you know, unofficial movement, you know, First Amendment auditing community and cop watch community. And just thank you to all my subscribers, supporters. Uh, thank you to everybody that's out there holding government accountable. It needs to be done. You know, there's no situation that a cop can't make worse. Government is not here to help us. Government is here to help itself grow into a giant monster. So with that being said, check out these clips. Again, thank you guys. Thank you all. Check it out. 
Let me ask you about your your good faith question, which we saw at the top of the segment. I mean, you ask this question in almost every video. And the, the question goes, if one of the people came up to you and asked you a question, you didn't know the answer to it, but by all rights, you should know the answer. Would you make a good faith effort to answer that question? And then, or to find out the answer to that question. And then you ask them the question about um, the five elements of the First Amendment. If one of the people came up to you and asked you a question and you didn't know the answer to it, but by all rights, it was something that you should know the answer to, would you make a good faith effort to find out the answer to that question? Of course. Okay. Do you mind if I ask you that question? Is that the extent of the question? The extent? There's, yeah, there's a question here. Right. If you give don't, you an answer, is there a follow-up to the question? Um, there, there, there may be. Yeah, there may be. But I'll let you go if, if you don't want to have a conversation after that. You might want to. I don't know. Do you mind if I ask? Well, as he mentioned, it might be easier for me to be able to answer your questions if I had some pre-knowledge of what they were. Okay. And if well, we have an appointment, then, we then keep I'll, I'll hold the appointment okay. and I'll ask you the question so you can think about it. All right. Sure. There's five elements in the First Amendment. Do you know those five elements? Five elements to the First Amendment. Yes, yes sir. Can I, I cannot recite them to you, so okay. I'd have to. But no, and I and I don't want you to recite them. You know, I, I don't. But but do you know what those five elements are? Are they called elements? Um, are you talking about amendments? No. Uh, so the First Amendment to the Constitution has five, has five elements, elements within right. it. Yes, sir. Gotcha. All right. Thanks for letting me know. Of course, it was nice to meet you. It was good to meet you. Yeah, good luck. Hope you have a good day. Uh, I'm going to have a good day. Thank you. I appreciate that. What is the origin of this question? And in going through, I noticed that the, the question has evolved a little bit. You used to phrase it a little bit different. You used to ask for an honest answer a couple times, I noticed. And then it changed to good faith. But the question is more or less seems to be fully formed from the beginning. So why did you start asking this question? And um, what did you um, learn from asking this? Well, uh, I, I asked the question, I mean, you know, or I think you know, because it's important, right? Because they swear an oath to this, to, to these things, to, to secure these rights, to protect these rights. Um, and the question, originally the question came from Sam Joaquin. Uh, Sam Joaquin asked the question, you know, what are the five elements of the First Amendment? And I, I believe that's how my first iteration of it was. What are the five elements of the First Amendment? And then, you know, I got feedback from, from people where they're just saying, oh, elements this, elements that. And so I, I just kind of further developed it. I mean, you, you know, you, you have enough conversations and you kind of see where... Uh, where you can improve. And I think that asking it in, in that way is an improvement. You know, what are the five freedoms secured to us by the First Amendment? Um, I think that there's no wiggle room there. There's no, well, I didn't understand what an element was. Well, you know, there's no, there's no getting out of it there. Um, and where the good faith came in was because if you ask that question, in almost all circumstances, you're going to immediately get blown off. You're immediately, you even asking that question, uh, you even asking that question is an affront to, to uh, civilized conversation or something. So I, I made it about uh, good faith to, to keep them engaged and to have them commit to, you know, really it's, are you a good officer or are you not a good officer? Will you make a good faith effort? And, and almost all officers say, yeah, yeah, I'm a good officer. I'll make a good faith effort to, you know, to, to find out the answer to your reasonable question. And then they find out in their eyes that it's not a reasonable question. It's, it, it, it's a yeah. question that makes them look like a fool. And then they, they want to leave. And many, I mean, we've seen chiefs just walk away in bad faith. Um, if, if one of the people came up to you and asked you a question and you, you didn't know the answer to it, would you make a good faith effort to find out the answer to that question? Just it. Well, that's, yeah. that's, that's fair. Okay. <laughs> um, 
The, the First Amendment of the Constitution, it secures five fundamental freedoms. Do you know what those five freedoms are? No, I'm not going to answer those questions. But I got you the information you needed. That right. was part of the information right. you needed? Anything sure. else that I could help you with? Any so is it, is it that you don't know it? Is there anything else that you have a complaint on? Well, right, right now, I'm, I'm concerned that a law enforcement officer okay. doesn't understand his oath. Okay. Is there anything else I could help you with? Specifically. Specifically. Complaint-wise. Specifically, yes. Yes. Who do you have a complaint on that I can help you with? Well, right now, it could be uh, Sergeant Ayala okay. for, for kind of being rude. I'm not being rude. I'm asking you, is there anything else I could help you with reference to complaints? I'm not going to sure. answer your questions in reference to amendments. No, I'm not well, going to do that. Why is that? Because I'm not. If you would like to file a complaint in reference to me not answering those questions, then you can speak. You can go ahead and file the complaint. Who, who is uh, who? my lieutenant? Yeah, absolutely. No, no, no. You don't need to get him. Who, oh, who is it? Timpano. Timpano. Yes. So, I, I, why is it that you can't engage with a concerned citizen? What is your concern? My concern is that is you it don't. Is there a crime that's being committed? My concern is that legality you wise, I'm not a lawyer. I can't answer those questions. My problem. My problem is that you're trying to speak over me. Okay. And that's rude. Okay. Do you think that's rude? If I was speaking over you, would you find that rude? Is there anything else I could help you with? If I was speaking over you, if I was asking you a question and you didn't answer the question, would you find that to be rude? Not at all. Not at all? No. So in the course is of your any, duties... Is there anything else that I could help you with, a criminal complaint or an officer complaint? There, yes, we're, we're speaking about it right now. Okay, what is your officer complaint? Are you... Do you know the five freedoms that the First Amendment secures? If you don't know, be humble is there and say, any, I don't know. Is there anything that this I This is not going to look good. Have you nice do day. care. Have a nice day. The department cares. Actually, could you give me your lieutenant? At the end of the day, it's still a reasonable question. You know, I mean, I think it's a completely reasonable question. And obviously, you know, every officer doesn't feel the same way, but... Um, I've had a, a, a few good conversations with officers about it, but, you know, so few that it, I mean, it's just, it's so chilling. It, it's disgustingly chilling. I was, yeah. Um, yeah what, I'm sorry, what was your name? Sergeant Jacob Justiniano. I, I would have butchered that, so uh, I appreciate that. You're not uh, Aiello's supervisor, though. I'm the senior sergeant on the shift. Okay. Um, I just didn't, he, he, he was rude for no reason. I, I, I mean, I asked him a question. He didn't want to answer it. And instead of, instead of saying, you know, I don't want to answer it, he, he, he was rude. I, I don't understand. What is, what is Sanford's commitment to the community? I mean, if I asked you a question, would you answer it or would you evade it? Depends on the question. I'm not going to answer any question. There's some questions I would answer. So I assume you already know this since he just came in. But if I asked you if you knew the First Amendment, is that a question that you would find objectionable? If you knew the freedoms that the First Amendment secured to the people? So I think the part that uh, where we would have a disconnect is... I'm not going to come out here and like take a quiz. You see what I'm saying? If there was an issue that you needed me to deal with, I would gladly talk to you about it. But to right, ask someone to come out here, like you're going to give them a fair. quiz on videos. Yeah, yeah that's weird. fair. So, so do you, I mean, it's not a quiz. I mean, it's something vitally important to your job. I mean, we're talking about, you know, before you're tasked with enforcing law, your, your primary role is to protect rights. Mm -hmm. So if, if, if we have a force of, of police officers that don't know what rights they're supposed to be protecting, don't you find that chilling? Uh, so where are we getting that the police officers, was there a situation that you're wanting to discuss? Where well, yeah, I, I, have an officer, I, have, I have an officer complaint and I was just okay. asking him for some clarity on it. Um, he gave me the clarity that I okay, that I wanted, perfect. and then and then I asked him a question. I asked him if he knew the five freedoms that the First Amendment protects. Mm -hmm. and well, those are all things that you could look up yourself if I'm you not, wanted to look I'm them not, up. I wouldn't answer those questions for you either. It's not why is that? Because that's not why I'm here. I'm here to see if there's an issue that you need me to deal with, not take a quiz. Like so I there's not before. there's not any bridging the gap with the community. A, a member of the community is concerned that that Sanford PD doesn't know what rights they're supposed to be protecting for the people. I'm I think gonna... we have a very good track record of doing our job correctly. Um, if you don't feel like I... we do, then that's fine. But to 
tried to take up, you know, supervisor's time with like some form of quiz so you could put it online or whatever you're trying to do. Um, that's so, not something I mean, you're, that you're making do. assumptions about what I'm doing. I'm mm -hmm. asking a simple I question. I said whatever you're going to do. Okay. So I'm not going to answer those questions either. Was there yeah. anything else you needed? No, that was it, man. Okay. That Have a good day. Yeah. Well, what's, your, what's your identification numbers? Uh, 170. 170. Yep. Who's your supervisor? My supervisor is Lieutenant Michael Timpano. Thank you. All right. You, I mean, you don't see this as a problem? No, sir, I don't. Have a good day. Yeah, well, engage with the community. Yeah, the, the vast, it's a lot of work. Majority, yeah, the vast, vast majority of my videos, they they don't get any views. Oh, they're, uh, they're dramatically underviewed. Yeah. And, that's and there, there is a frustration level, but if I think about it and if I'm honest about it, you know, had I, had I not, uh, had San Joaquin not shared any of those videos, one of two things would happen. Either my channel wouldn't exist anymore, it'd be dead, or um, or I would just have even even less views, you know, even less views than I have right now. He, he's probably brought in probably close to 20,000 subscribers, and the other 10 probably came from Rogue, you know what I mean? Um, so, you know, if you don't have somebody that's bigger than you helping you, it's tremendously difficult. Uh, at least that's been my experience. It, it's tremendously difficult to, to get traction. Man, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I think it's great to, uh, to see this, to see that uh, many of you guys really do appreciate uh, just my efforts. Like I said, I, I, I'm only one of the people. I try to help the small channels grow i'm here for the underdogs i've always rooted for the underdogs you know my whole life we the people have become the underdogs and government has all the guns and all the money and everything that they need you know to become tyrannical and it's time that we do our part uh, to change things so thank you all thank you to cameras everywhere and and uh a massive thank you to uh, this is a public service for all your kind words and uh I love you guys, man. Thank you all. Uh, we'll see you on the next video. Peace.